Okay, so we're we coming into grounding, putting our feet on the ground, our hands on the thighs, feeling the sitting bones connecting to the chair. And let's close our eyes and try to get a little bit quiet, quiet in the brain, quiet in the body. And we do that by focusing on the breath. So when we start to focus on the breath, imagine you packing to go away and you just discovered a vacuum packer and you put your favorite blouse or skirt or skirt and blouse inside this little baggie and you're sucking out the air from it and it's very compact. Sometimes our breath feels very compact, but we really want to inflate it. So imagine that instead of sucking the air out of that mm -hmm. vacuum bag, you now want to put air into that vacuum bag and inflate it so that the skirt and blouse and whatever has lots of space. Imagine that every breath you're expanding that bag, holding your clothes, so you're blowing air in, and the bag gets more spacious inside. It's not so easy to know how to inflate that bag. Because you've got to take the breath in through the nostrils. And in order for the bag, which is really like your torso, in order for it to fill up with the breath, it has to be relaxed. You can't just force it to open. The more relaxed the body is, the more the inhale can open up that plastic bag, so to speak. So you want the ribs relaxed. You want the belly relaxed. You want the chest and lungs relaxed. You want your head to be just relaxed on top of your neck. But you want the whole body Relax to open on that inhale. So it opens, the belly opens, the ribs open, the chest opens, everything is opening. And so every inhale the breath is taking up more space, more space. Feel it, that inhale pushing away cobwebs between your ribs and your lungs. Everything opens up nice and big. And then when you exhale, it's like that vacuum packer bag is sort of starting to get flatter and take up less space. So we're filling up with breath. Good morning to Kayla and Hannah. We're filling up with breath and then letting that breath release from the body. The breath deflates. So now let's bring that into a dog back as we fill with breath. Relaxed belly, relaxed ribs, relaxed chest. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. And exhale. So I'm just going to put, um, I'm hearing a little noise. I'm just going to put 
breathing up, breathing up, breathing up, breathing up, and exhale. As we exhale, that bag is really deflating. It's all the air going out of it, and then let's inflate that bag. Don't want to talk about you like a bag, though, so maybe just inflate the body. Inflate, inflate, inflate. And exhale. And let out all that air. And two more times. Inflate. Inflate. And exhale. And inflate. And exhale. And sitting up straight. So it's interesting because this is the last class before Pesach. And in a way, the bread we eat a lot of times is inflated. It's puffed up, nice and big, full of air. And then the matzah we eat is deflated. <laughs> so we want to be full of breath, inflated like the bread. Over Pesach, we say that that bread equals ego, and we want to squeeze out all of the ego and become like a matzah, so deflated. So here we want to inflate full of breath, oxygen, exhale and deflate to be squeezing out the breath, out the air. Let's just do two breaths where we think about the Pesach meaning. So as you inflate, not that I want you to be egotistical, but just imagine you're filling up with ego, which sometimes has a good aspect to it, but let's just inhale. And you're filling up with sense of self and in a way your own importance, which there's a time and a place for that for sure. And then exhale, you're getting rid of all that ego and making yourself flat, flat and flat like a matzah, devoid of any ego at all. And inhaling, filling up with that sense of self that could turn into arrogance. And then exhale and squeeze all of that out. And come up. So we know that that sense of self has a place because after Shavuot, I mean, after Pesach at Shavuot, they do bring leavened loaves, not matzah the whole year round. But just it's important, let's do our hands, just while we're trying to get out of Egypt, we have to listen to instruction from our leaders. We have to be ready to surrender to the unknown. We have to be ready to let go of everything we knew before. And so then letting go of the ego is very important because we don't always know what's best for us. Sometimes we do, and we need to learn to listen to our intuition. Let's take our hands to the side. Sometimes we know what's best for us, and we need to listen to our intuition. But sometimes when the game is very, very big, we need to listen to our tati, our father who says, Time to go, drop everything, we're leaving now. But daddy, I'm not ready. I still have to do my hair and my teeth. We're <laughs> leaving now, otherwise we're gonna miss the train. That's not the time for a little person to have too much ego. They have to say, okay, I'm coming right now. So in Pesach, we connect to that part of ourselves that has to be very young and following lead from the big tati parent the big upper, the big daddy, who says, time to go right now. You don't have time to bring anything. We're leaving. The train is coming soon, and we'll miss the train if we don't go right now. So we're just working our wrists up and down and up and down and press those arms out to the side and drop. Ah. <sighs> So all the cleaning that we're doing in Pesach, we have to look at it on two levels. We're cleaning out the yeast, the leaven that makes us, makes the food in our house fumitstick. 
but we also cleaning out the that arrogance that makes us feel like we know better than the big boss. That's why we got to get it all out of our house, every nook and cranny. Good, let's inhale and take the arms up, interlock the fingers, press them up to the ceiling. And over to the left side, we're stretching the right side of the body by going to the left, that whole right side is stretching. Stretching, 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 inhale up. Over to the left, the right side now. Now the left side of the body is stretching, 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 and up, and down, and out. So we see in yoga that all of our muscles work in pairs. When I go to the left, I'm strengthening the right. When I go to the right, I'm stretching the left. So when I want to work on humility and surrendering myself, I actually have to be strong enough to be humble. <laughs> I have to have some part of myself that is strong enough to be able to surrender completely. That's everything is in opposition and in pairs, it's interesting. What part of you has to be strong enough for you to surrender? Let's go up, breathe in, breathe out. And we're gonna fold forward and just let go. So fold forward, fold forward, fold forward and let go. Let your head go, let your back round. Good, we're gonna inhale and come up. Inhale, use your muscles to come up, 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 down the center line. Exhale. Let's do that again. We're gathering, gathering, everything goes out to the side and up. Out to the side and surrender, roll down, round back if you like, drop down. Two deep breaths folded forward like this. Two deep breaths folded all the way forward. Two deep breaths. Two deep breaths. And then inhale, we're coming up, 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 and down the center line. Let's, let's go very slowly on those shoulders, just up and back and up and back and one more, up and back and up and back and interlock the hands behind the lower back. If this is too hard for you, Linda, just go easy and slow. We're gonna just externally rotate the shoulders, taking them back, opening up the chest, and release. So when we're filling the belly, when we were filling with breath, we needed to relax the belly, relax the ribs, relax the chest so we could bring that breath and open, open, open into all those places. So let's let's start with the chest. I want to open that chest. So open out the arms as best as you can. Take the hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades. If you want to, you can interlock your fingers or we can push the fingers down into the chair. And let's just breathe into this chest. Really want to open it for breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now we want to see that those ribs are nice and mobile so they can open. So let's just shift them side to side. Shift them side to side. Good. And can we spread them? Lift up the body so you imagine that those ribs are actually spreading and separating. So lift up like an accordion. Lift up and relax. So you're becoming an accordion. We're playing a little tune. Accordion opens. La. <laughs> La. 
Stretch it open and down. And open. And down. Do you feel the accordion opening? I hope so. Open it up. And down. Exhale in the last time. Open it up. And down. If I muted you and it's quiet in your space and you want to unmute, go ahead. I just was hearing talking and noises, but you feel free if it's quiet to unmute. So now we're going to work on this belly. We want it to open. So we're just going to breathe out through your nostrils as you bring the belly in. Let's start nice and slow and just warm up that belly in a different kind of way. So we're just breathing out, 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 out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Sasha, do you want to carry on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Linda. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shelly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hannah. Hannah, doesn't, you don't want to do it. Okay. I, knew, I was muted. I oh, was okay. Muted. Do you want All to right. do it? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, Stern, are you still muted or you can do 10? Let's count 10 belly in, uh, contractions. One, two, you carry on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yes? Okay. Okay, so let's... Um, um, that's good. Okay, so we'll just move on. Let's just do, um, let's just rub the belly, rub the belly, rub the belly with two hands, two hands, rubbing the belly, and two hands, rubbing it the other way. Okay, now the whole breathing apparatus should feel much more flexible and open. So let's open our knees. Stirner, did you want to do it and I stopped you? Or are you good? You're good, you're good, okay. Okay, so we're gonna open up the knees and we're just gonna take the left shoulder to the right, go carefully, Linda. Over, over, over and up and other shoulder. Over, over, over and up. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Good. A lot of what we do in yoga, by the way, is to just open up the tight parts of the body so the breath can move through and the life force can move through and we just want to have that fluidness that life force can move through. Good. So let's take our hands to center. And we're gonna press the right arm up, the left arm down. And as we press down and up, we wanna be stretching. Stretching part of us to go to our higher selves stretching part of us to ground to the earth. And there are always these two opposites, the higher self inspired with ideas and 
things we learn and we read in the book. Lower self, how that feels in our body. Press down, lift up. Breathe in and out and feel those two lines meeting at the heart. Press up, press down. Again, inhale, press up, press down. Exhale, bring it to the heart. Now we're going to go with the opposite. So we're taking the left arm up, right arm down. And we're pressing, pressing the left arm, reaching for inspiration, beautiful thoughts. The right hand pressing down to putting that into our experience and our bodies and coming. So this is actually an interesting, um, we'll just breathe into the heart for a couple moments. There's a difference of opinion if the year really starts by Rosh Hashanah or by Pesach. Does the year start, we wish everybody Happy New Year in Rosh Hashanah? But, and then there's also an opinion that the year starts by Pesach and by the beginning of this month, Nisan. Or not Pesach, but even a few days ago at the beginning of the month. So let's take this up again. Let's take the right hand up and the left hand down. So there's opinions that say that the Rosh Hashanah that we know that comes in October, November, that's the thoughts, that's the idea of the new year. Let's press up to those beautiful thoughts, God's intention to create the world. And the left hand is connected to the beginning that happens in spring, in actuality, in the earth, in the seasons, in the budding trees, that the thought was in Tishrei, but the actuality manifests in Nisan, the thought in Rosh Hashanah, but the actuality in the real spring of the world. And come down back to the heart, exhale. And one more time, up, the left arm up, the right arm down. That the Rosh Hashanah of, of Tishrei of November, October, November is all the thought, the potential, the head, everything in the head and Pesach is everything in the body, eating, tasting, smelling, drinking the wine, eating the matzah. And that's a new embodied kind of beginning. Let's lean over and just roll the back and just roll down and let that back be round. The head drops down. Mm. And coming up, 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 and down. I just want to say one more thing about this, so we're going to have to do it again so I can say my one more idea. So let's take the left arm up and the right arm down. So the things that come into the world, either top down or bottom up. So top down is like a hierarchy from the upper, upper realms down to the bottom realms, top down, like rain is top down. So upper to lower and bring the hands to the heart. And then the right arm up and the left arm down. And then the other things that go bottom up, our efforts, our work, our offerings, our contribution, our initiative, bottom up. So Pesach is bottom up. Rosh Hashanah is top down. Just something to think about. We make the Seder, we taste the food, we clean the house. We try and change by Rosh Hashanah. We're receiving God's grace, God's plan. We try and make ourselves as open and the best vessel to receive, but it's really top down, whereas this holiday is bottom up. We taste, we smell, we cook, we clean. Last time, let's just fold forward and just think about that and breathe for just two minutes, two, more, two breaths, breathing in. 
Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out and come up. Let's stretch those legs out. We're stretching the legs out and bringing the legs back. Out, out, back, back. Out, out, back, back. Out, out, back, back. So working with the legs, uh, let's pick up the left leg and we bring it right up to the chest. Let's hug that leg, rotate the foot and drop. Might not be so easy to pick up that leg, breathe in. You got to loosen into the hip flexors, rotate, rotate, rotate and drop. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's point the foot down and exhale. Now let's flex the foot up, flex and drop and flex and drop. One more, point and down and point and down. So let's take that left leg and just rotate it a couple times, out, 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 and come to this posture. So Sasha told me, I always say that this posture has the potential to unscramble our thinking. And I never know if it really can do that or not. I just learned that in a book. So Sasha told me that when she did this, Sasha, I hope you don't mind me sharing. When she did this posture last week, it really helped her find a kind of clarity and a, a little bit of a more unscrambled feeling. So let's take the left hand to the left, uh, to the left toes and the right hand on the shin. And we'll just sit in this pose for three deep breaths. So you're crossing your hands and just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And breathe in and out. So while you're here, you want to make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your jaw is relaxed, your head is not tilting up or down, it's loose on top of the spine. And let it go. Let's go to the other side. So we're going to take the right leg up. Circle it out a couple times. Grab hold of the right foot, rock it side to side, put it down. Take the right hand to the right toes, the left hand crosses and rests on the shin. Sit up nice and tall. And just breathe in and breathe out. You do want to be noticing that nothing is tight or tense in your body, especially not your jaw, not your shoulders, not your neck. And you're just breathing in and out. And let go. You can tell me afterwards if anybody felt like uh, anything particularly interesting in that pose. In the meantime, we'll carry on. So I'm just going to turn up my music into more of a active sounding soundtrack. Okay. And I'm going to tilt this down. Everybody's doing okay? Yes, everyone good? I hope so. Okay, so here we are. So legs out and legs going back. Inhale, out, out, back, back. Let's go on those tippy toes. Heel, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe. Heel, heel, tippy toe, tippy toe. Keep going. Heel, heel. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, 
exhale, exhale, keep going, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, couple more, in, in, X, X, in, in, exhale, exhale, good. Now we're gonna go for a forward fold. So before we do this, I said at the beginning of class, empty your ego, surrender. Let's think about what we want to surrender to that's important. What do we want to surrender? We don't want to be surrendering to a golden idol. All right, let's go. Breathing in. Lift up and walk your hands forward and down. What do you surrender to? What do you want to be surrendered to? Drop your head down. Let's do it again. Breathing in. Nice big breath up. Exhale the arms down. Walk your hands forward. Let's do a nice straight back, like a dog back, as far forward as you can go, and then drop the head. Inhale up. Exhale down. Sometimes things happen and we're not in control. And we fight that. We feel like, shouldn't have gone that way. Can we surrender to the fact that we're not really totally in control of everything that happened? Or are we always the one to make sure it happens, happens according to our plan? Let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and come up. So I just want to ask you, what do you think is worth surrendering to? We'll do that again, but what do you think is worth surrendering to? Anyone want to say? Hashem. Yeah, but what does that mean? What does that mean? It means that's like forcing my will, and it means trusting that Hashem is going to make things good, not so being in fear. Good. Okay. Anyone else? What do we want to surrender to? So Kayla said that things don't always go our way, so we surrender to that. Do we need to surrender to aging, or do we fight that? Do we <laughs> surrender to the will of other people, or what? What? What do we? Where do we feel surrender in our lives? Ethics. Hmm, Linda. Our standards, our ethics. So we want to not surrender our standards and our ethics. Wow. So when it comes to something that contravenes our value system, we don't want to surrender that. No, okay, to, that's good. We want to surrender to our value system. Right. Okay, that's what we don't want to surrender. Any anyone else? We'll have one more comment and then we'll carry on. I was thinking our illnesses. If you have an illness, not to surrender and don't give up and keep fighting. Okay, so that's not, so, but maybe you have to surrender to the fact that you got it for a reason and what can you learn from it? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> now we live with it. <laughs> yes. No. Okay, but that's good. Don't surrender to your illness. Good. Okay, so let's do, do two more of these. Two more of these. Breathing in. So maybe this is like where we not surrendered, right? Here we up and powerful. Right. Exhale and just think of something that is worthwhile for you to surrender to. And one more. Breathing in. This is where we assert our will and what our fight. And then let's surrender to something that we feel is of value to surrender and be aware of what you're surrendering to. And coming up. Good. Okay. So let's um let's stand up for the next part. So we're just coming into a stand. Good. So 
one of the best ways not to surrender to aging or illness is to keep moving, right? Absolutely. Okay, so we're doing our little march, marching, and then we're going to hit hit the opposite side because we're stimulating our immune system when we do this. So we're just getting some energy going, breathing in, breathing out. Good, we'll do five, four, three, two, and one. And let's stand up in mountain pose. So we're standing up in mountain pose, being nice and solid. And then let's go for that position of surrender. Let the arms just drop. Let the knees soften. Let the head get heavy. And we're just going to roll down. Now, if folding forward is a problem for you, for dizziness, don't go too far down. Go as far down as it's good for you. And all of us, this is the first time we're doing it, so don't push past your place where your body's comfortable. And then let's put the hands on thighs, look up, breathe in. And then you go down a little further. Hands on thighs, look up. And we're going to go down a little further. One more. Hands on thighs. And go down a little further. Good. Soft knees coming up. Arms out to the side. Up. And down. Let's do this again. So we're in our mountain pose. I told you, I shared with you that I was in Sedona. And the mountains are very, very asserted. They're big red rock mountains, very strong presence. Just feel like you're a very strong asserted mountain. Try not to not lock your knees though. Big, nice asserted mountain. And then we're going to let that go, let that go, let that go. Soft knees. We're going to just roll forward, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're just rolling down. And get very soft and very surrendered. Just let it go, let it go. Inhale, head looks up. Exhale, go down more. Inhale, head looks up. Exhale, drop down more. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Let's put our hands to our lower back. Make sure that it didn't get tight in those forward rolls or that it actually loosened. Open, open, open. Ah, and here we are. Let's shake out, shake out. So let's do our infinity sign, Aleph little dance. So we're going to collect the Aleph above, go through the heart and collect the Aleph below. So we're going to put our hands together and let's go. We're looking for the Aleph. We're catching it up the little yud. We're coming through the heart and we're going to get the yud below. Get it below. Come up through the heart. Grab the yud above. Come down through the heart. Pick up the yud below. So it's an infinity sign through the heart. Over, left to right, through the heart now. Left to right. Up, through the heart. Left to right. Exhale. Left to right. Inhale. Left to right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now we got to go right to left. Reverse. Right to left. Up. Up. Right to left. Down. Down. Up. Up. Over. 
through, down, up, up, down, down one more, up through the heart, right to left above, down, down, right to left below, and back to the heart. Let's shake it up. Ah. The best thing we can do for ourselves is keep all the fluid in the body flowing and all the joints lubricated and all the places where there's stiffness to just keep moving so that we don't get stiff and tight. So we'll do the infinity sign movement. It's a little different than the Aleph base. We do it like this. We're making infinity signs with our hands. And then we're going to go up, inhale, up, 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 down, 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 soft knees, down, down, down. Keep going. Inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Couple more. In, 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 in. Exhale, inhale, up. Last one. Inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. And staying in the middle, just letting those arms be nice and loose. And nice and loose. And nice and loose. And nice and loose. And shake it up. Shake it up. So we've got our chair we're going to work on a few moves stretching the left leg back just kick it back and forward back and forward inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now just want to alert you when you go back you could be turning your foot out and your hip is opening up you want to keep everything down so your foot is going towards the floor and you're lifting like this and not opening that hip now let's go to the other side back 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 and back and shake it out now let's step forward with the right foot we're going to come up to our warrior one here's our warrior one so let's bend that front knee forward and back forward and back forward and back and forward and back and change feet. Left leg is forward, arms come up, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and forward and back. Good, now we're gonna just work the leg again. We're gonna go to the side, let me, we're going to go to the side, 45, all the way to the back. So side, 45, all the way to the back. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back. One more, one, two, three, and back. Turn. The chair the other way and now we got the left leg out to the side 45 degree all the way to the back if you don't hold on it becomes a balance side 45 all the way to the back 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 one more time side 45 all the way to the back good 
Let's do one more exercise. That's a balance and a leg stretcher. We'll start with the um, chair on the left side because that's where it is already. So we're gonna take the foot and point it forward, point to the side and point to the back. If you cannot hold on, it's a balance. So you're gonna point, point, point. Now we're going to flex, 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 flex. Now we're going to bend, 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 backwards bend, bend. And now we can do all that with the left leg. Maybe we'll put the chair on the right side, and we're going to do all those. We're going to start with the point, 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 point to the back. Now we're going to go with the flex foot, flex, flex, flex to the back. Now we're going to go with the bend, 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 bend to the back. Good. So now we're ready for our balance, more balance, because this is all balance. So now we're very ready for the tree balance because that will be very easy now. So we just take the leg and we just put it there or there or there. And we suck up, we suck up the rooted energy from that right leg, suck it up into the midline. Look at something not moving. Grow that leg, grow that energy up and out through the arms. Very nice. Very nice, everyone. Come down. We'll do it the other side. We're going to root into the left leg, throw it up. Feel that energy in the middle. Bring it up the leg, root those roots into the ground, bring it up, open it out. And uh, we have time for a variation of this pose. So instead of putting that foot on the thigh, let's hold it in that uh, in the left hand if you can, and just let that right knee. Or you could hold it if you need the chair. You could hold it in the right hand. Hold the chair. If you don't need the chair. You could hold it in the left hand and let that right knee just drop. If you need the chair, you could either move the chair to the other side. And so you, you're letting that knee be bent. And now you can lift up the opposite arm. Good. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna leave the chair on the left because it's probably easier. You're gonna bend the left leg Bring it up to the right side. You're holding it with the right hand. If you need to hold on, you can hold on with your left hand or you just let that left arm stretch up. It's like a tree, but it's a little different. And then the next level of this balance is that that leg that's standing, you just bend it a little bit, make it like a shelf. And then you just, you're not holding that leg at all. You just put it onto the thigh, take your hips back and balance like that. Very good. And we're gonna try it on the other side. 
it's not for everybody. It's a little bit more advanced. So we grab hold of that right foot. Bend the left leg that's standing. Take your hips back. And then you sitting back with holding or without holding. And now we're ready. So how was that? Good. Looks yeah. like it was good. Good job. Okay. So let's sit back down. So now we're ready for our meditation. So actually, my my watch is a little, looks, let's do, before we do the meditation, we can do our alternate nostril breathing. We have time for that. So see that you have a tissue if you need one. And clean out your nostrils. So we're in the time before Pesach. And Pesach is the time of our freedom. And in a body sense, freedom is the removal of blockages. Blockages enable all the, the air and the lymph and the blood to fro, flow freely. So anytime we remove blockages, we're actually assisting our freedom. So now we're going to use the breath to clear pathways and remove blockages in our breathing and to use the breath to balance ourselves as well. So let's take the left thumb and up off the left nostril and breathing in through the right, breathing in. Let's breathe in for three. Hold for five. And release on the left for seven. Breathe in on the left for three. Hold for five. And breathe out on the right for seven. Let's do the same numbers again. Breathe in for three. Hold for five. Release for seven. Breathe in for three. Hold for five. Release for seven. Now let's breathe in for four. Breathe in for four. Hold for six. Breathe out for eight. Breathe in for four. Hold for six. And breathe out for eight. Let's do one more round, starting at four. Breathe in for four. Let's hold for six. Breathe out for eight. Breathe in for four on the left. Hold for six. And out for eight on the right. Good. 
How many people found it easier the second time around on each number? Did you notice the difference? Did it feel easier to you? I think. Okay. All right. So now we're going to come into our meditation. Closing our eyes. Just watching the breath come in and out without manipulating that breath. Just watching it come in and out. Relax the jaw, relax the forehead. And imagine that you're a little tiny caterpillar who's feeling that things need to change in your life. And I want you to imagine yourself going and finding a place where you can rest. And all your frustrations and all your discomforts Use them to spin around you a nice little cocoon. Everything that is not perfect in your life, use that feeling to feed the liquid that's going to be the fabric of your cocoon. And wrap yourself around it, your aches, your pains, anything that you don't feel comfortable in, wrap yourself around with this special liquid stuff that will turn into some kind of substance to enclose you in a cocoon. And feel yourself wrapped inside this cocoon. And now I want you to think of all the surrendering that we talked about in class, all the surrendering. And I want you to inside your cocoon feel like every defense you have, every act or behavior that you've cultivated to preserve anything that felt important to you any resistance, any personality traits. I want it all to turn to schmush. Complete disengage, disintegration of everything that you knew to be you. Feel it all disintegrating. And in that disintegrating, maybe you can even remember how frustrating it was to creep around on the ground, how you had to go everywhere so slowly, how you were in danger of being stood upon because you were just a little caterpillar. Let all of that just disintegrate into mush. And in that mush of infinite potential, everything that you knew before is no more. You're just a mush of infinite potential. I want you to feel something new developing, something completely unknown. You've never known this thing before. But even against your own knowledge, your own better judgment, your own insight, your own information, something new is forming out of your being. Something completely new and unfamiliar, and it starts forming inside this cocoon, and it gets more and more structured and more and more fixed until you feel you, you have a definite 
shape and form and structure, but now you're feeling that your little cocoon, which was so nice and protective, is starting to feel really claustrophobic. And you start to wiggle yourself and move a little bit. And as you move, so that cocoon around you starts melting away and you sort of pushing, you can't help yourself. You're just pushing to the boundaries of your cocoon. You're just pushing as you start spreading your new body out. And before you know it, that whole cocoon has disappeared and you start stretching out your, your different body parts and you realize that there's something very unusual and new about you and you start spreading out as much out in space as you can and you realize that you have huge beautiful wings of multicolors and you start flexing and moving those wings And then the wings start flapping up and down. You start flapping those wings up and down. And before you even realize it, you're flying, flying high above everything that you knew before, but now you're in a completely different place. You're looking at it from above. You're free and untethered. You're amazing. When you're ready, you can open up your eyes and you can start flapping your wings and you're just flying all around in your beautiful butterfly state and you feel fantastic, you feel empowered, you feel free and you bring your arms up, your butterfly wings just come to rest for a little while as we actually let's just close our eyes while those wings are flying just close your eyes one more time but this time your wings are flying and as you breathe in and out your wings are just flying and you feel how big and expansive you are and how unlimited and how free you are and how it just necessitated you to have the trust to let go when you were in your cocoon. Thank you, thank you. Shalom, shalom. shalom. I bless you all a wonderful experience of freedom and uh, expansiveness for your upcoming holiday.